Hello everyone, I'm Howard from Dubious Engineering, uh, wearing me Pickle Rick t-shirt at the moment. I um, don't know why that's uh, relevant at all, but anyway, start that again. Got a special project to tell you about. DJ Retro Ravi and myself. Ravi came up with a cracking idea, he needs a bit of my help, and it involves putting together batteries. Batteries for a very special laptop. DJ Retro Ravi has come up with a cracking idea and that is to take an Amiga and put together some battery packs for it and turn it into a fantastic laptop. So basically you end up with a portable Amiga with a sound system and a lovely screen and all self-contained. Obviously, me being me and me being well into my 18650 lithium ion batteries and all that kind of good stuff. Ravi's asked me if I can help him with this. Of course, I'm really looking forward to helping Ravi with this project. But before we start work on that particular project, I wanted to put together a power supply uh, that I could use with my Korg Cross keyboard and also some other pieces of equipment that were nine volts. So what I'm trying to do here is effectively make um, a 3D printed uh, lithium ion power pack that's rechargeable, uh, that has a voltage regulator in it, and of course the obligatory missile switch. Um, so uh, carry on watching, and hopefully with a little bit of luck, uh, uh, well, you might not learn something from them. In fact, to be honest, you'll probably learn how not to make stuff. But um, it may be of interest, let's say. All right, cheers. And of course, as always, please don't forget, thumbs up. And more importantly, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And, um, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Maybe share it with somebody that might find it useful. Cheers all. Everyone remember the power supply I was working on? Looks a bit like that. A missile switch on the front of it. 12.2 um, volts and uh, a little barrel, DC barrel jack connector in it. And um, you can plug this 
now into my keyboard which means that my keyboard can go places which is great news um, and it also means uh, that all of these uh, good old fashioned Duracell batteries here don't need them anymore um, the keyboard only worked for about four hours on those and four hours isn't nearly enough to be able to actually make a make a decent tune not that I ever actually make decent tunes um, the other thing uh, I've got the old um, wooden amplifier out this is like my camping speaker again missile switch on the front of it uh, it's got a whole bunch of lithium ions in there and I've got this plugged into the uh, Sony recorder here. So with a bit of luck, if I press the appropriate buttons, I should be able to give you a bit of a demonstration of the Korg Cross. And I will say this is actually quite a pleasant little keyboard. So uh, right, so if I just hit that button there, hopefully this will be dialed into the Korg Cross. Go for one of those and uh, do 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 there. Maybe this one. Uh, okay, here we go. 